Hey everyone, Josh here, um, as I'm sure you're aware. I want to warn you about the video you're about to watch. It's not like graphic, you know, it, sound, um, it sounds like I'm about to like warn you that the following video is for mature audiences only. So definitely not, like this is the most immature, you know, series of videos I've ever made, like all this Pathfinder stuff. It's been great. Um, no, the reason why I'm here to give you a little disclaimer up front is that the quality of this video is real rough. Um, Patrick and I had recorded a series of videos that we were planning on putting up uh, in the next couple of weeks. Turned out none of them were usable. Uh, we had a, we couldn't quite figure out what the problem was until just recently, uh, today in fact. Um, but it was some real choppy video. Uh, they kind of became unwatchable, so we scrapped them. Uh, however, I did record, uh, during that same time, I had recorded a new Pathfinder Adventures episode, um, the follow-up to the last one where I, you know, made some bad decisions and lost. But I reason why I'm posting this and the reason why I'm even including it uh, and not just deleting it with the rest of them uh, is because, actually, one, the scenario I was doing is the final scenario of Adventure 1, uh... I beat it, and I want to make sure I have documentation of my victory. So, that's the only reason. Otherwise, I'm just going to tell you right now, spoiler, I win, I beat the scenario, everything's awesome, the video sucks though, so like really don't feel like you have to watch it, but like if you want to skip ahead and see like how bad it got, like feel free, but... The following videos, so I've we've already recorded multiple videos past this, and they've all been turning out great, so it looks like the issue has been contained, it's been taken care of, uh, but for this one thing, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. So anyway, uh, here you go. Enjoy? Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, I didn't know if we would be back here for a minute, because I've been to the last two and a half hours or so dealing with all sorts of technical issues uh turns out the latest version of ios uh 9.3.4 that came out um i'd been putting off updating and i decided to update it in the last week or so totally screwed over uh like it was blocking the output of the video like when i tried to when i have it connected to my streaming to my elgato to stream it to my laptop in order to record um, it wasn't working when I updated, so I think there's some kind of weird, uh, filter or something that's being blocked there. Not sure. Um, actually, I upgraded to the iOS 10 public beta. It's kind of a bad idea. We may crash here. I don't know. If we do, I plan on rolling back to an older version. I have a backup of 9.3.3, which was what I've been recording on forever, so... Anyway, all that aside, just a little bit of technical mumbo jumbo. Um, we are continuing on with Pathfinder Adventures. As you saw last time, uh, we failed miserably at Thistletop Delve, the last scenario of Adventure 1. Had the villain, knew exactly where the villain was, but could not find her in the allotted time. I was down to like five cards left in the location deck and then simply just ran out. So, uh, I'm going to jump back in, but I've changed... A little bit here so originally uh, the whole concept of what we we're doing was a six player uh, permadeath legendary difficulty run um, we are still doing permadeath and legendary but I've dropped the number of players down to four now I understand that the six man difficulty is harder purely in terms of it's more of a race against the clock however uh, let's see oh wow well, I've got the so, Darkest Night and Impending Doom. <laughs> Probably good timing, then. Um, I feel like the six-player, like, time crunch thing ends up not making for very good uh, Let's Play videos, because when I consistently keep failing the same scenario over and over again because I'm running out of time, not necessarily because, like, I didn't beat the villain or something or, like, I messed something else up. Like, I just feel like that's not interesting to play the same scenario, like, four or five times. Uh, so, four-player will be much more consistent with that, but it may be more challenging in terms of, you know, actually, like, trying to manage health and all that kind of stuff. So it's still going to be hard. Um, as you can see here, uh, all Banes and Boons are three harder this scenario. 
uh, and this villain is no joke, but I think that this will be more fun um, for you guys uh, so, and for me to record, because I was getting really frustrated having to record the same scenario and trying to find a way to make it interesting for you all, you know. So I feel like this would be better in that way. I'm still progressing, and we'll actually maybe get through this a little faster. Uh, I'd like to get on to Adventure 2 and 3 uh, with the impending Adventure 4 release coming out soon. So, um, yes, all I have to say, let's play. Let's play! Uh, Alright, so... I dropped... So in terms of the party composition, I ended up dropping Kyra and Sila. Uh, and the reason why is because they both kind of fill similar roles that I already have in the party. Um, they're all divine casters, and Lini is a divine caster. Um, Kyra's an okay melee person, and Sila's also good at melee, but Amiri is very good at melee also. So it just kind of felt like it was a lot of... Those were the most redundant characters uh, out of the bunch, so I kept Lini on as my divine caster for the party, and I still have Amiri to smash people's faces that means my charisma is a little bit lower, because Sila had the nice D10 charisma, but Lini has a D8 with her little animal bonus, so should be fine. Um, why don't we go ahead and we'll do a little bit of this. Um, let's do that. I like that. Yeah, sure. All right. So, I'm feeling much better. Four-man group, still legendary, still permadeath, still going to get my butt kicked from time to time. Uh, but I feel like this is going to be a lot better, and we're going to have a lot more of a good time here, if you know what I mean. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Deeper dungeons. Oh, yeah, I'm going to encounter. Yeah, what you, like I'm scared of this guy. Uh, no, please. Let's kick his butt. So we're going to shoot him in the face. And I really don't think I need any assistance. It is a 13. The difficulty of combat checks here at the deeper dungeons is one harder, plus the scenario power of three harder makes him... Four, five, four harder. Okay, I can do math. So, let's go ahead and just roll it. Not even worried. Piece of cake. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a blessing to go again. And we're going to go ahead and kick this uh, rat swarm's butt. But I do want to beat it, so I'm going to do a quick check. Do I have don't have any matching blessings? So we'll just go ahead and we'll display this orb just to get the extra little D4 bump. Make sure the rat swarm does not come back. And I'm going to call to end my turn. See what we've got. Ah, I'm going to put the pit trap on top because I've got my masterwork tools, which will let me auto defeat that barrier so not worried don't need to look at the top because I already know whoops oh, recharge uh, this good old Orbo of Frosto perfect all right now let's end the turn nicely done so with the four player game I have to be a little bit more careful about managing health because now if you notice the timer is still 30 turns so players have each character has more turns now so I have the risk of actually playing more cards uh, and risk running their decks out. So it just requires like a little bit more, um, a little bit more careful planning in terms of like I don't want to burn too many blessings. Whereas a six-player game, you want to burn all your blessings to explore as often as possible because of that, because you're just like in a desperate race against time. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Like I needed you anyway. All right, so we'll go again. A long spear. Long spear did not get the long spear. And we'll go ahead and stop there. Um. No, we'll, we'll leave that in hand. I could have recharged the staff to draw another card, but uh, it's actually going to come in handy here in a second. So I will use the Torag to explore. <gasps> it's a large chest. Uh, don't. It'd be nice to beat it, but not too worried. And we'll banish it. That's fine. I will then use the Staff of Minor Healing on myself to get that blessing back. 
Um, and then, sure, I will blessing to go again. <gasps> a henchman? Okay. Oh, she's gonna do damage to me before I act. Two damage. That means I have no cards in hand. Fantastic. I'm still pretty buff. As you can tell, I'm a buff lady. Um... So let's go ahead and recharge that to give a d4. We'll play strength to really bump her up. Uh, oh, I have two strength spells. I should probably get rid of one of those now. Um, I need to roll a seven currently. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and play the blessing there. Woo, that was actually a little closer than I would have liked. So... We'll go ahead and try to close. We will definitely, definitely use some blessings here. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna hate this. Uh, we'll discard that and I'll probably cure that back in a second. And I'm sure I should not be able to play that. So I don't know why it's letting me, uh, letting me do so. Yeah, I kind of need to play all these just to give myself a fighting chance. Alright, that is a closed location. Um, yeah, sure, let's, let's go ahead and hop away. Yeah, we'll go there, that's fine. Let's go ahead and recharge all my goodies. I'll probably give Lini a different spell than Strength, since Ezrin already has it. Alright. Let us explore... Ooh, Lead Blades. Uh, discard the card, add d10 to a combat check, using a weapon that has a slashing trait? That's very specific. Um, I mean, I got it. Maybe we'll use it? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'm not super thrilled on that. Alright, here we go. Good ol'... Gablin Raider. Is it Gablin Raider? Oh, this is an intelligence check. And I believe this location closes automatically. Okay. Since I know Harsk doesn't have a fight coming up, we'll just go ahead and do that. To make sure we get that nice over-the-top uh, kill there. Game's running a little choppy today. I wonder if that's because of the iOS update. I wonder if on iOS 10 it's just like the performance is a little, a little less. I'm not sure, but it does seem to be running like a bit. I'm I seem to be okay. Yeah, I'm I'm smooth. Uh, I'm real smooth as you can tell. But uh, no, nothing else. Um, yeah, the app performance seems to be a little sluggish. So I'm not sure exactly what is causing that, but I have a feeling it is the iOS 10 beta. Yes, we'll explore. I know what it is. I'm not going to get it. Darn. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, and let's see what's on top now. <gasps> A traitor. Okay. <gasps> Woo, see, I'm drawing a lot of cards. I'm going to be careful. And we'll go ahead and... I'm going to hop over with... Uh, Amiri for now. And she's down three. I'll hold off. <gasps> Goblin Commando. Oh, boo. Oh. Oh, you just had to do that to me, didn't you? All right. We'll discard the fox. That way we can play Holy Light. And I need to roll an 11. It's not the best, but it is a wisdom check, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I feel a lot better. There we go. All right. Boo. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and play this on myself now. I was going to use it on Amiri, but... Mm. Mm. Roll the dice. So I, I think I talked about this last video, I don't remember, but they added um, 
custom dice skins to characters, which I've yet to uh, receive any because they come from treasure chests, and I just haven't, you know, been bothered to open any treasure chests yet. Also, I don't even sell my face is so dry. I mean, it's like I have not put any lotion on today, so I'm just like this really dry. Been out in the sun, and my face is all peely and gross. So if you can see that, I apologize. It's really disgusting. Um, I'm just you know, I like to be very open about my issues on the camera. I just can't, when I see a camera point at me, like, I just can't help but just, like, start talking about all the things that are wrong with me, and I can't just, I can't help it. All right, let's explore. Um, it's a dog. Missed it by one. Darn you, dog. Yes, let's keep going. <gasps> Ooh, villain. Okay, she is such a villain. Ooh, look at her. She's feisty, too. You're the best that Sandpoint has to offer. Lamashu's favorite child, Mafeshnikor, will be reborn. The ashes of that corrupt city will feed Lamashu, as will your blood. I don't remember what her voice sounds like that I've been doing. Um. Uh, I am death and blood and ashes. I do not serve you. I think that was right. I'm pretty sure that that was right. I mean, it's not like I can go back and watch you know, the old videos that I used to do or anything, but, you know, they're gone. Once they get uploaded to YouTube, like, they're just gone forever, you know, because that's how it works, I believe. Um, Alright, so let's try to close. Hmm, how bad do I want to close this? I think I'm just going to go for it. I shouldn't have gone for it. That was a dumb decision. Okay. We will encounter. I have armor. She's going to do damage to everybody here, which is a bummer. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and bury that armor. Now, this is the part that sucks. I don't necessarily want to take... Oh, I took four. Of course I did. Okay. Ouch. So, here's the question. So I have strength, so I don't. I can get rid of strength. That's fine. And that way, if I then I can keep the Phrasma blessing. Okay, because that'll give me two dice, as I'll show you here in a second. So let's dump all those. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do I, it's a double combat. We'll do this for the first one. They need to roll 10 on those four dice. That's really good. How about I just do this instead of playing a blessing? Oh, you know what? Whoa, I just... I I was just talking about how I was going to play strength. I should do that. And now I only need to roll a 7 on these four dice. Like, that is ridiculous. So let's just do that instead. Okay, so now I need to roll a 10. I don't want to lose my great club, so we'll do that. And I'll play this Blessing of Phrasma, which didn't give me two dice, like it should have. That's interesting. Let's read, uh, let's read Blessing of Phrasma. Oh, come back. When any character plays a spell on a check, well, so I played Strength, which applies to all checks, but because I guess I didn't play it during that turn, it's not going to give it to me? That's technically wrong. Strength, I should be getting the two dice here, so that's an error in the game. Uh, but, alright, so that's fine. So we'll still do our, our thing with Harsk, and we'll do that, and we'll roll this now. There we go. She's dead, but she's gonna run. Which is fine, that's fine. Cleared out a particularly nasty location in record time. <gasps> Roll to gain weapons! Mm, weapons! What do I get? What do I get? Looser and a hammer! Ooh, I do like looser and hammer. And let's go ahead and move. Because I'm in that awkward in between spot, uh, so we're gonna start hopping and skipping our way. Let's go ahead and recharge. Oh, man, I'm bombing those recharge checks today. That's a bummer. Okay, so Ezrin is going to move on to the Thessalonian dungeon. 
Um, there are normally zero blessings in this location, so if I hit one, I know that the villain did not run here. Excellent. I don't care about that spell so much, but it lets me explore again, because it's Ezrin, and he's super cool. Also a thing that I don't care about, I don't get to explore again, because it's not magical. But that's okay. I do have a dilettante to be able to uh, do that. And it's a scout. He's going to hit me for some damage. I've got arcane armor. It's no big deal. And two just happens to be the amount that I reduce damage by with arcane armor. Booyah! Alright, so all that taken care of. Oh, I missed my window. To... Another thing. That's annoying. Alright. I missed my window to be able to use the Thessalonian Dungeon location power, which is if you play a spell that has the arcane trait, you may immediately draw a card. It was glowing, but while I was rolling the dice, and then it disappeared, so that was irritating. Um, let's see, I need to roll an 8. Ours is loaded down with weapons, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Just to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Alright, so before I continue, there we go. Before I actually do the act of rolling the dice, I need to hit the button. Let's see what's on top of his deck. <gasps> Mirror image. Oh ho ho, I couldn't draw it, but my turn is over. It's a mirror image. Okay. So the villain could have run here. We don't know. But that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and do one more explorer. <gasps> a treasure map. I love treasure map. But I don't... Don't have any good resources for it, and, and, and uh, it's not a huge deal, so I'll just let that one go. Alright. End of my turn. Let's look ahead. Oric Van Kaskerkin. Well, hello. How are you doing, Oric Van Kaskerkin? Why, why are you here? Um, so Lini's going to have a wasted turn moving, sadly, but she has no cards, so that's fine. I wasn't really going to do much with her anyway because of her lack of cards. Uh, no, I like those weapons that I have in hand. So we're going to go ahead and now move to the Warrens. And let's explore. A Ranseur. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and Blessing to go again. Goblin Raider! Darn that goblin raider. Okay. So I'm loaded down with weapons. I kind of want to just uh, break one just to get it out of my get it out of my hand here. Let's close this location. Oh, I got rid of the wrong blessing. Oh no. Well, that's the only blessing I've got. So. Oh, money! Yeah. yeah. Do I want to move? Yeah, sure. Oh, actually, I probably sh don't want to move. That was probably a bad idea. Because the villain's there, then I'm going to get force blasted. Yeah, that was a stupid decision, honestly. Okay. Skeleton with Ezrin, who has no... Uh, <laughs> ways to attack in hand. They do have the ability to shoot, but that's all I can do, so I'm gonna roll it and see. Oh, on the nose! Yeah! No wasted numbers. Alright, there we go. Now I've got an attack spell. We know Auric Van Kaskerkin is on top here, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, Let's go ahead and fight him. He wants to talk to me first. Hold on. Finally, some action. I've been waiting on this rock for weeks. Time to earn my coin. <laughs> Lay down your weapons. I'll only offer this once. 
tempting. The smell of goblins and the reek of the Larry Suto Noelia love triangle isn't keeping me. But the gold is. Tell you what, best me and I'll show you where the goods are kept. Ah, 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 ah. Excuse me, um, let's go ahead and kick this guy's butt. Seems like a good opportunity to use lead blades. I need to roll an eight on these three dice, which is really good odds. Um, lead blades is kind of just bogging my deck down, so I'm going to play it just to get it out. Alright, and actually that ended up being pretty beneficial. I think I... Without the extra d10, I rolled a 6, I would have rolled exactly on the nose to beat him. Um, I'm not going to make this charisma check. It is what it is. It's just for an extra boon, but... Um, Alright, I have no blessings or anything on hand, so let's give it a shot. Man. Boo. Okay, well, since that happened, we got to keep going. All right, at least it's a bunyip. Not a bunyin, those are painful. Bunyips though, eh. Um, ooh, I have, I'm, I am, uh, I have no assistance to give myself here. Ow! Ow! Oh, I thankfully have exactly enough cards to draw up but that's not looking good for old Harse there he woo, no cards left in his deck all right um what spells are in my discard pile no let's go ahead and bury that to get holy light back we're gonna move Lean's having another wasted turn sadly and we're going to draw. What we know on top is a blessing of the gods, which means that the villain is not here, and the villain is in fact over with Ezrin at the Thessalonian dungeons. So, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and discard that. Um... I don't have an ally, so let's go ahead and, uh, we'll fight him. And we'll, we'll do that. Oh no! Oh no! We'll reveal. We will... You know what? No. Hmm. Let's do that. Not a huge fan of that. That ended up being quite terrible. No, I don't want to move. I will stay here. Because if I hit the villain, I'd rather be by myself instead of everybody taking all that force damage. Um, I will use the Staff of Minor Healing on Harsk to get a card back. Just so he has one card in his deck. Shocking Splash! <gasps> Ooh! Oh! That's really too bad. Man, alright. Hello, it's you again. We're going to recharge you. And oh, I, I really have to beat this guy. I need to roll a seven. Can I do math? No, I need to roll a nine on these three dice, which is okay. All right. There we go. Woo! Took a chance. Let's see what's ahead. Spike chain. And then another monster will be last. Okay. 
Annie's here! Hey! Okay. Go ahead and use her turn to get that spike chain. Or at least get rid of the spike chain. Alright. I mean, I could explore and hit that last card. It's a monster, but I'm not really set up to fight all that well. So, we'll just end my turn. And how is her constitution? D8? It's okay. I am a good fight. Oh yeah, that's right, it's the bunyip. Negatory. All right. Oh, I do have a matching blessing, so we'll just recharge that just to make sure this guy is Dunsky. Whoa! I really kind of went overkill on that one. Um, okay. We'll do that. On the nose! All right. Perfect. No, we're not going to move. All right, Ezrin. <gasps> Secret stash! Oh, it's just slightly too high for my thieves' tools. They need an 11 or less in order to use them. So, I will not uh, get to go again. We'll banish that. I'm going to go ahead and discard that. There's no more barriers here, so we'll discard that. And we will draw up. So here's the issue. If I go over there, I take a blast from Nualia. Harsk and Harsk then goes again. I'm He's dead. So I'm tempted to hang back with him. There's how many cards left? Six still left. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. Welp. Oh, this is a bad, bad decision. Josh, what are you doing? This is a port. This is a bad call. Alright, well, end of his turn. Let's let me look ahead, which is nice. Shortbow plus one would be pretty good. Alright. So here's where I can at least uh, do this. So I'm gonna... There's five cards left. Let's augury for monsters. Hope I get her. Oh, I didn't get her! Oh. But that's actually good, in a way, because... There's five cards left. That means that she was in the bottom two cards in the stack. Now the deck is getting shuffled, so there's a chance that she now is up at the top. Okay. Fortunately, I am not going to explore. Ah, I got a cure, though. Thank goodness. I'm going to cure Karsk. Is Lini is not gonna get to go again. Uh, so if I take a bunch of force damage from Nualia, it's not a huge deal. Okay, well, here we go. <sighs> Goblin Raider, okay. Oh, this is such a bummer. Such a bummer. Because I'm not gonna make that intelligence check. Likely, anyway. Ugh. But, Goblin Raider will be dead. We'll try to close. I can recharge. And recharge. Okay. I can give myself a little bit of a chance here. Got it. Okay. So now the question is... What well, doesn't matter, because if I wait for Ezrin to do it, I can pass off my turn anyway. 
So I may as well just discard the Dilettante and go for... Well, the downside is that then I only have three cards in hand, and if she does a full three points of force damage, it makes more sense to end my turn, actually. Nope. Now we will staff a minor healing on myself. Shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. So this is her. Let's go ahead and start it. So Harsk does have one more turn. We'll see how this goes. So I'm about to take force damage to everybody. This does not reduce force. We'll go ahead and display... I mean, if life is any damage, we'll display mirror image. We're good. We're good. We'll draw a card. All right. All right. Let's see how bad this damage is to everybody. Perfect. That's the best, best possible outcome for Harsk, since he's gonna have to go again. All right. Now everybody else. Not a big deal. I am getting really lucky, though. Wow. Okay. We will do that. And let's see how much damage poor Amiri takes here. Two. I I surprisingly lucked out. That's uh, pretty incredible. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump on this first check here. I've got a blessing. It's my only blessing. Is the only is the downside. So, hmm. Okay, I need to roll an eleven here. That's the best that I can do. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is gonna be rough. Okay. All right. Got it. Woo! All right. Let's recharge. Let's do my power to draw. No, nope, that wasn't that helpful. It's fine. I was hoping to get strength back, but... Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's see. Oh, I can't draw that. Darn. Okay. We're going to hand off to... Actually... Who do I want to hand off to? I can hand off to Harsk. I can hand off to Amiri. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Harsk would be rolling... No, I'm going to hand off... Alright, let's go back. I'm going to hand off to... Amiri. We're going to... discard that. And instead of playing the Blessing, because that would give me a die, which is nice, but if I do, she's going to be too harder, I'm just going to use her Barbarian power to bury the Blessing to get a d10. I, the difference of a d10 versus a d12, and it doesn't make her any harder, so I feel like that's a better way to go. And look at that! She's super dead. Did it with five fewer Blessings in the Blessings deck, and three harder Boons, and three harder Banes. So, four-player is much better and we're going to be flying through this a lot quicker my vengeance will be fulfilled by another my pain my shame it ends now nualia's cause is done she wore as a hidden medallion as i suspected she was bound to yet another ah i'm ezra and i'm an old man I am so smart, though. Victory! Give me that gold. All right. We get some nice rewards here. So let's get my... Whoops! Whoa! Whoa! That just disappeared before I could even, like, look at it. All right. <gasps> just random... Random cards. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot that it does that. Um, okay. So I got my Sahedrin Medallion, which is a good, good card. And now I have a card feat. My very first card feat. 
so card feats let me expand my deck. So now instead of 15 card decks, I will have a 16 card deck, and I can choose what I want to add to it. So let's start with Harsk. He is currently sitting, so, uh, you know what, it's, it's pretty easy. Usually early card feats, blessings are a really good resource to stack up with, or stock up with, because they're just generally useful. You can use them to explore and to help other people. So more blessings is generally a good thing. The only reason why I wouldn't do blessings is if, like, I'm desperately in need of, like, another weapon for someone. But, like, right now I'm okay. Um, like, Harsk and Amiri have five weapons in their deck. I'm usually overloaded with weapons. As we get further on and I start having, like, 20, 21 card decks, as I start getting a lot of card feats, I may add, like, a sixth weapon to their deck. But for now, uh, I'd rather use it for blessings. Um, Ezrin, though, can I have blessings? So we'll just... Uh, We'll do spells because his spells are very generally useful. So, um, do that. Could have done the ally, which I'll probably do another. I think probably next I'll do an ally for him. Um, I don't think I acquired much. Uh, I think, you know what? Agility is probably actually worth keeping over another strength. So, we'll do that. I'm going to have to have one uh, or the other. Let's see. I'm going to drop the Ransuer, sadly. Well, plus a d12, and the Glaive is plus a d10. I can discard it to add a, another d12. That's really good, actually. Um, it's basically a slightly better version of the Great Club. So maybe I'll drop the Great Club instead. I don't... I'll drop the regular Bastard Sword for the plus one Bastard Sword. All right. Um... I don't need Enfeeble, and I guess for my extra spell, I'll leave Lead Blades in there. I don't have any other use for that. Um, and we'll go ahead and... Do I need an extra Thieves' Tools? I don't need the Amulet of Life if I'm going to have the Cyhedron Medallion. They essentially do the same thing, but Cyhedron Medallion is slightly better. It reduces damage by four. Um, okay, so... Yeah, so Lini needs a blessing, so we'll throw in a blessing, and we're done. We have successfully completed Adventure 1. We are now on to Adventure 2, The Skinsaw Murders. Uh, the party is now looking into some grave cultist shenanigans that are going on, um, and it's... Uh, all sorts of undead, nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. So it'll be fun. Uh, I like. I feel like the game once you get past Adventure One, it like really starts to kind of pick up because now your party's more competent and it's more fun. You have a lot more options to throw in combat and and when you're exploring. So the game just kind of gets better and better as you go. Really. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, stay tuned for Adventure Two next time. Peace. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know how you think I'm doing. You want to see more? You want to, you know, whatever? Just let me know. Tell me tell me your thoughts. I want to hear from you. From you. You watching right now. I want, yes, that's you. N no, no one else. You. I want to hear from you. So, yeah, go ahead. Do all that stuff. Be fun.